In this question, again, we're giving a recursive formula shown over here, this time defined in terms of n plus 1 and the previous term n. So let's find t2 and t3 as the question asks by listing the first term, which is t4, and calculating the second one. So t2, well, let's be a bit more specific here. t2 is actually 1 plus 1 is equal to 3 times t1. Now what I'm, what I'm doing here is I'm replacing the n in both the left and right side with a 1. Why am I doing that? Because once I do that on the left side, I get t subscript 2, which is 3 times t1. Well, from the line above, we know t1 is 4, and I get 3 times 4, which gives me 12. For t3, we do the same thing. And that's going to give me, um, well, again, let's be specific. I'm going to have 2 plus 1, which is equal to 3 times t of 2. And so t3 is equal to 3 times t of 2, we said is 12, which gives us 36. And that's our t3 value. So if we list these terms in order, we have 4, 12, 36. And I think at this point you can intuit the pattern is that at each step, I'm multiplying by 3. Each step, multiplying by 3, which means I have a geometric sequence.